open internet questions are on the table as we look at questions of the digital divide are really important because I don't know the market where you have more aggressive government leading of industry, the market isn't necessarily going to be In that case, there's probably no market. You know, it's just the government, basically. It's trend, you know, one of the issues that, that is hotly debated here and one that I'm going to be involved in once again in, in Vilnius is the, is the network management uh, uh, net neutrality issue. And one of the key elements of, of principles that underline all that is this issue of transparency and having a, you know, wh which, which all the, you know, all the basic broadband platforms have signed off on and middleware folks and everybody, you know, they're all, that's one, you know, you get into some areas where there, there really is some heat in terms of the Debate, but in terms of transparency, everybody signed on, and that would be a good, you know, a, a good thing to drive forward as, as as all of this, you know, continues to continue to bring the next billion on. Is, is this issue of, of real transparency so that people understand what you know rules of the road? Um, Please. So I have to like firmly kind of disagree with all of the ideas that oh the market can correct these ideas. I mean, the market, if, if you're talking about marketing, we're talking about capitalism, the goal is profit motive. It's not happiness, it's not social justice, it's not freedom. So that is not necessarily in line. And I think that we see by the examples of Cisco Systems that's willing to sell you know, this technology to repressive regimes by you know, Google who is giving into China's censorial regimes. If you're, if you're letting the market correct, well, you're responsible to your shareholders, not to the Ugandan people, you know, not to these, not to these other people. So I think, you know, going back to your question, who's worse, government or business? I, I think they're, you know, they both have negative aspects to them. And I think that even if you think about in our country, I mean, think about if you know this company collects data and then they share that with your health insurance agency, and you, they discover you smoke and they cancel your health insurance. You know, there's all sorts of scenarios as we become more interconnected and share more data. I mean, if you look at Facebook. Also, you know, this idea of kind of coupling um, social networking with data collection, aggregation. You know, Iran used that to track down dissidents. Mm -hmm. um, you know, businesses can use that to target consumers, but what happens when that becomes pernicious? So you discover that this consumer has an ad addiction, so you target them with those ads. You know, I don't, I don't think that business is as benign as. Um, you know, maybe it's being portrayed here. And again, I mean, going back to Clinton's speech, and my question to her was, how are you going to put teeth into, you know, you're asking businesses um, to, to act socially responsibly, but that's not their mandate for, for the most part. Mm -hmm. which of course, there are some exceptions to that. Um, but for the most part, businesses are out there, you know, to, to earn profits.